Hi, everybody. Coming to you from uh, beautiful Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. Not so pretty today. I just grabbed the screenshot from a live camera on the Sunday afternoon. It's, um, what, 342 out there on the Pacific Coast, two hours later here in Missouri. Um, but anyway, what, what you're looking at is basically the dammed up Osage River. This was part of uh, FDR's public works program, same as Timberline Lodge, which to me is interesting. So in that same time era where uh, public uh, funds were used, tax funds to build Timberline, another big works project was Bagnell Dam, which provides a significant chunk of electricity to the St. Louis area. That's the dammed up Osage River, which produced the lake picture that you're looking at. It is a cloudy, only 65 degree day. It's chilly outside. Um, when this was built, by the way, it was the largest man-made waterway, inland waterway, in all of North America. And to this day, if you trace all the little coves in the main channel, the different branches of what is a dammed up Osage River, you get more shoreline than the entire state of California to the Pacific Ocean. So it's a really impressive, incredible waterway. I love coming down here every year to see my folks. Uh, and I think I can see I'm on their deck right now, but you can see it's cloudy. You can see some of the boats on one of the channels. The sun is supposed to come out starting tomorrow, and I'll get out and take some pictures and show off the lake a little bit. But enough of my vacation. Let's uh, get you going with what's happening um, weather-wise, shall we? All right, beautiful day. We have a mixture of clouds along the coast um, back home where you are. <laughs> but inland areas are beautiful. You can see... Um, uh, Willamette Valley Vineyards and Domain Stream Winery, Gresham Subaru out in the Gorge, Cathedral Ridge Winery, all enjoying some really nice sunshine today. These were the three o'clock temperatures. So Portland 79, Salem 79, obviously going to warm up at least into the low 80s, it looks like this afternoon. Vancouver 75, so maybe not everybody gets up to 80. I mentioned the coast has been kind of a mixed bag, generally in the 60s, as story 64. Sunshine out in the gorge, Hood River already 81, and the Dow's already at 84. Again, those are the 3 o'clock temps on the Sunday. So my big story is it warms up tomorrow on Monday, but tomorrow is the only kind of warm to hot day of this entire upcoming week. What you're looking at here is the upper level flow pattern, and as you look and you can see the ridging taking place with the warm kind of orange colors, just kind of bending inland, that gives um, – us in Portland, about a 579 pressure height. We could hit 90 tomorrow. The modeling generally has been anywhere from 87 to 90 for high. It won't be much warmer than that. And it will only be the one day threat of warm to hot weather. And then just like that on Tuesday, we cool back down. In fact, I want to show you this because this is really interesting. This is the cool outlook for June 16th through the 20th. So that's this coming Friday through Tuesday. Notice nearly all of the West, including Oregon and Washington, below normal temperature-wise. Notice all of the West, including Oregon and Washington, above normal rainfall-wise. Now, we're in that time of the year that you just need a little bit of rain to get into the above normal category, but we'll take it, right? Now, so you're like, okay, so we have some cooler weather. We, have, we heat up tomorrow, then we cool back down. Then we have some cooler weather with a rain chance that starts Friday night, at least right now, starts Friday evening, Friday night, and the rain chance continues through the weekend. Now, check this out. So that's this Friday through Tuesday. How about continuing this below normal pattern June 18th all the way through the 24th, which is what this outlook shows you from NOAA and the National Weather Service. And there are more rain outlooks, possibilities to come in these days. By the way, it just started raining here in Missouri. I can hear the, uh, the rain coming down once again. It's been a wet, cool day back here. Okay, so a couple of troughs. This is the American model, the GFS Global uh, Forecast System model. This is Saturday. This is this coming Saturday, June 17th, the below normal temps, the above normal rain chance. And you can see in blue up here this 560 millibar trough that's a system mainly staying to our north, but I think this would give us at least some rain. Again, the rain chances would start Friday and go into Saturday. Now, this is the kickoff to a number of days in a row where we kind of have this cool trough and at least an ongoing rain chance to some degree. This is Tuesday, June 20th. So it'll be a week from this Tuesday, right? Notice the pressure heights are about the same, but basically the trough dips all the way down into California. The upper level low centers over basically Oregon. So if that holds true, that would definitely be rain. 
And remember last week I started talking about summer starts June 21st this year. Could it be a cool kind of low mid 60s rainy first day of summer? Well, this shows that yes, it could be. Maybe it will be. So this will be good news. Again, we need to get every bit of rain we can get before we really kick into the dry season of July and August, right? So we'll keep following that. But but certainly the models are biting hard on near 90 tomorrow. And then we just slip into a, a fairly prolonged period of time of temperatures that will be normal to cooler than normal with at least a handful of rain chances. Now here's Portland's seven day forecast. Tomorrow sunny. This is the automated program. I'm on vacation. <laughs> this gives this gives Portland 87 degrees. Again, maybe 90 in some spots. Tuesday, there's the cool down. Partly sunny, 76, 73 Wednesday, 77 Thursday. And then that chance of rain to me begins Friday evening, Friday overnight. Then we have an ongoing chance of some rain with probably more clouds than sun over the upcoming weekend. This shows Saturday 72, Sunday 71. But it could be cooler than that. Remember these um the computer model um, forecast, and and I don't want to speak for them, but that the National Weather Service will lean heavily as well on extended forecasts, what the modeling is showing. And the modeling takes into account what is normal. So seven days out, if you've got a weather model saying it's going to be you know really cold, the model will take that and it will warm it up a little bit because it will kind of tilt its hand toward, well, let's, let's take you up a little bit more closer to normal. So my point is, maybe the weekend that's showing here would only be in the 60s with a good chance of rain on Saturday and a lingering chance of showers on Sunday. Uh, anyway, we'll find out. So that is your outlook. Uh, before I go, remember June some time ago, I, I said, at the time that I was talking about June, I, I said, you know, June has a chance to either be normal or cooler than normal and a chance to at least get you know, some decent rainfall, maybe over an inch and uh, normal is an inch and a half. And I didn't really see many, if any, 90 degree days. Well, so far, we've only hit 90 once. I know the month is young, but we've only hit 90 once. That was a 92 degree day. We may not hit 90 tomorrow. If we don't do it tomorrow, right now we're back to there aren't any real slam dunk 90 degree days showing up the remainder of the month. Now, obviously, a lot can change. We have a couple weeks to go. But all of a sudden, that forecast for June being not so warm is starting to come back in as a possibility. So we'll see. All right. Um, I'll look forward to talking to you probably in a couple of days. We'll see what we do tomorrow. And uh, I'm just starting to kind of fine tune this new format and I'll try to show off the Lake of the Ozarks a little bit more. In the meantime, my weather site's portlandweather.com. Thanks for using my YouTube channel, hitting subscribe, telling your friends. I really appreciate that. Hope you're having a good Sunday and I hope you have a good Monday.